Um, go to the palace. I know I'm being kind of cheap by, you know, just doing this, but... A tree cut precisely to shape. Typical British approach. We even impose our formalities on nature. Wait a moment. Is that a ball hanging in the branches? See, you need random stuff. You really do. It, oh, it, it, stop. Stop where you are, sir. What do you think you're doing? I, uh, want to get that ball over there. My, uh, nephew accidentally threw it into the tree while he was playing this morning. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot allow you to do that. What? I just want to go get my nephew's toy. That may very well be, and usually it wouldn't be a problem, sir. But today it's been raining, and you are just about to step on this decorative English lawn. So what? So what? Excuse me, but have you taken leave of your senses, sir? The constant rain has soaked the ground completely, and the precious blades of grass are defenceless against your brutal boots. OK, then. I'll be very careful when I walk across the lawn. I promise. Halt! If you take even one more step towards the border, I will have to arrest you, sir. Now wait just a minute. There's a million different crimes going on right now in this city. Your lawn will be just fine. Sir, I do not joke. When it comes to the protection and care of His Majesty's parks, I have full authority. After all, we represent the British Crown here. What is to become of the Empire if we are not even capable of establishing well-tended gardens in our colonies? Sir, you are preventing me from doing my duty. Either you step back, or I will be forced to take you into custody. It seems I am powerless against British conscientiousness. I can't even tell him why I'm here. I need a different plan. Uh, I... The arm clock has to distract him, right? The policeman's guarding the palace entrance. I don't even want to go into the entrance. I... Can I... Grab it with the measuring tape? Just slap it so it falls to the ground? Apparently not. Great. Can we actually read Documents this? from Lord Weston. There's information here about Richard's expedition. But it's not an awful lot of good to me right now. Seems like before they disappeared, they were traveling through a region in the Himalayas about 400 miles east of Lhasa. Which, of course, is the least explored region in all of Tibet. Without any official maps, I'm going to need some help from somewhere. Great. Can we talk to him directly? Good evening, sir. How may I help you, sir? That's a very different tone. Um... May I ask you a question? Go ahead, sir. By a hair, the Tong Triad nearly drowned me in the harbour today, and yet there wasn't a police officer for miles. Any particular reason? Long. If the incident occurred, as you say, in the harbour, you will have to file an official complaint to the Office of the Colonial Administration. They're responsible for the Southern District. I am under the direct authority of the Palace Department, and I'm responsible for maintaining law and order on and around these premises. Three cheers for British bureaucracy. Oh, yes. Do you enjoy doing this? I beg your pardon, sir? I mean, standing around here all day in the pouring rain. After serving in London for ten years, the rain doesn't really bother me, sir. Apart from that, it's a great honour to maintain law and order in front of the Governor's Palace. Three cheers for our British civil servant. <laughs> then I won't keep you from your work any longer. Good night, sir. Great. Was never much of a gardener myself, contrary to British stereotype. I didn't even know that stereotype existed, so... Way to go! Um, is there anything else? There's a rubbish bin there. Which he will run to, so there's something there, I guess. There's nothing useful inside. <laughs> Great! A normal rubbish bin. End of story. Well, why do you keep, you know, giving me the option to look at him then? What the hell? Uh, let's Fenton see. needs a photo of his old friend. To yes. There might be a photo in Fenton's off. Young yes. Howe fished the wallet. Okay, so nothing new there. Um, so I need something to distract him to get the ball for something. I, I frankly don't know. Um, well, oh, back will probably just throw me back to the previous screen. Um, I feel like I'm just missing something simple here, but I, I, I kind of need this umbrella, right? So I can at least keep the flies dry or something, or... I'm not going to take that lamp away from the... It'll stay nice and dry over there under the umbrella. Well, that's what I need, right? I suppose he's still... At least the kid won't get wet under the um... 
Hmm. I need that umbrella on light. All right, kid. Hey. So I'm working on. Hmm. I'll be off there. No, I need those items. I I I need them. I I I think I do. Because the light would attract the flies, and the umbrella would, uh, you know, keep them dry, or something, or you know, keep the lamp dry. That that's what I think I need to do, but. Yeah, I'm... I can't be certain. Still got this freaking cat to deal with. I need to avoid making too much... Yeah, I can't make noise, I get but... Too close to that cat. I need to lure it away somehow. Cats like playing with measuring tape. But, you know, I can't do anything with that. Oh no, the cat needs the ball. You know, stereotypical ball of yarn. So this is what I need to do. There's a ball hanging in the tree. Let me oh, see. Stop. Okay, okay. This isn't going to work. Yes, you do want that ball, do you? I mean, here's a measuring tape. No? Darn it. Clock? Seriously, what am I supposed to do with this guy? The governor's palace. Sir. I see you have everything under control. Yes, sir. Very well. Good evening, sir. Great. <laughs> Seriously, what? 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 I mean, I don't think... Well, clearly there is something you can do, but... I'm in a hurry to get out to Tibet. But not that much of a hurry. First things first. Kay. That's a 1928 Ford Trimotor. More importantly... It's my 1928 Ford Trimotor. They only build 199, and mine's the best of the bunch. State of the art. Ten years ago, Gus is getting her ready tonight so I can set off for Tibet ASAP. Great. So is there anything else? The bellows. What? Maybe I should ask Gus if he needs them first. Gus, listen. Yes? Do you think you could spare your bellows for a while? Why do you ask? What do you need them for? Blow a ball well, off a tree. I can't really say at the moment. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, go ahead. It's your stuff anyway. I've finished cleaning the engine. Well then. Seriously? Use bellows to blow the ball out of the tree? Has to be it, right? I mean, how easy was that to miss? Because I certainly didn't see that before. Didn't see that at all. So I guess I am going to be abusing this uh, examine scene thing uh, a lot throughout the game. Oh, it's actually shortcut it to spacebar as well. That's that's good to know. No, not even that. Jesus Christ. Gus's bellows. He says he uses them to get the dust out of the plane's engine. But I can't say I've ever noticed a difference. Great. Um, bellows with measuring tape would make a good distraction for a cat, I guess. I'd still say blow, try and, you know, you get some, a little bit of reach, I guess, but. Yeah, great. I'm pretty sure I can't use that on the, uh, on the cat or anything. It's unconventional. But no reason I shouldn't be able to suck up the flies with these. However, what? the cat's still standing guard. I get too close and it's going to bring the tongs right down on me. So, by the power of logical deduction, I reason the next step is to get rid of the cat. I need something to distract it. Okay. I need to avoid making too much. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like I need to... Use that alarm clock in here somewhere. So, you know, all the tongue guys would go inside. And then I could make noise in here. With Mum Tong and his Okay, but there's nothing at all to use here, is there? No, there is not. So that's kind of confusing to me. I feel like I, I you know, I need a distraction, clearly, but. I don't want to. I'm uh, sorry for repeating a lot of this, you know, clicky business, but. Can I. 
I mean, seriously, this I gotta be able to use this somewhere. Working again. I'm no great fan of the racket, but it's set to go off in a couple of minutes. Well, just do that on the side then, or something. I don't see... You know, the bellows are clearly just used on the fly, so... Oh, this is annoying. This is the part of adventure games I really don't like. It's, you know, you, you're missing that one step. That one step is entirely screwing you over. A thin wood... Yeah, thin wooden rod. Great. Um, yeah, this. I feel like this is taking too long now. It's uh, getting to the point where it's really frustrating. And, you know, no longer fun to watch. Just... I don't really want to turn out the light. You don't, okay. Blow up. No, okay. There's nothing we can do there. Great. Um... Yeah, I feel like I'm stuck now. I'm just missing that one thing I need to do, and I'm just not seeing it. So, I think I shall then just uh, call this a set. Call this the first set. Uh, so far, loving the game, except not figuring out what I'm supposed to do. That one interaction that I'm missing. That, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not like you can just double-click or anything to Working. just use it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll, next, you know, next time I'll figure out what I'm supposed to do. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, you know, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys next time. See you, dudes.